classic uh, Chinese dish, Kang Pao chicken. And it does pack a punch. We've got lots of chilies in here. We've got red ones, green ones, and we've got these dried chilies as well. So that's going to create this beautiful spicy sauce around the chicken. We're going to serve it with some rice noodles, which are really easy to do, and some sautéed Chinese vegetables. And that is really easy to do as well. I'm going to show you all those secrets and the recipe to create this dish a little bit later on in the show. Now, it's great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And, Mark, we've got an Asian classic to cook up this morning. Everyone's raving about this. They can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I know. I bet they can't. It's going to be very, very spicy, but we like spicy. Mm. And it's, uh, it works really well with chicken, and it's a really fast dish. So perfect for tonight, actually. Nice. OK, cool. So let's get started. What do we need? I see all these ingredients in front right, of us. Right, so first of all, uh, the thing that's going to take the longest, you want to start with first. So that's going to be our noodles. OK. So it's going to pop them in a bowl. Got some boiling water on there, put them over, cool. and then just let them rehydrate. Rehydrate. Then I've it's done uh, this before. Job done. Yeah, nice and easy. And then, and then what we're going to do? We're going to drain them off, and then we're going to toss them with a bit of sesame oil as well, just to get a bit more flavour in there as well. Oh yeah. Right. Well, so I'm going to start chopping the chilies up now. I was doing a little bit of research about this dish because people were, you know, debating whether or not it's, a, it's an Asian classic. Um, originated <laughs> in China. Back or in the 1820s. From, uh, <laughs> Chinese takeaway in <laughs> Manchester. You know, they renamed it in the 1980s to fast fried cube chicken because of the Cultural Revolution. Mm. So, you know, just some useless <laughs> facts I found out. So, there you go. I oh, know. Okay, so the noodles are rehydrating, so keep them going. I'm going to leave this pot on. Do you want this one still on? No, no, that can be off. That can be off. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got a chicken as well. So it's a good idea. Like, if you get your chicken breasts, just give them a wash off and yep. then pat them dry. Okay. You know, and then you haven't got any excess moisture there. And when, when we seal the chicken off, it's going to seal it off in hot oil, so it's going to get some colour on there, and it's not going to it's not going to lower the temperature and boil the chicken. Right, and to try it, what do you do? Just something like that. Just pat yep. them dry. Yeah. Okay. Pat cool. them dry. <laughs> pat them dry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Like an avatorial, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to cube this up. Yeah, so you're going to you're going to cube that up. So obviously keep it uh, on separate boards, being raw chicken and everything, and then wash your hands afterwards. Yeah. And then I'm just going to chop the chilies here. So just going to chop them into nice little strips. So this is the fresh chili, some green, some red, and I've also got some dried chilies there, which I've just left in quite big chunks. So you'll leave the seeds in. So too. Uh, yeah, we can Whoa! leave the seeds in. <laughs> we, like, we like the seeds. Um, and it's a good idea, you know, leave these in big chunks because then if you don't like it too spicy or you don't want to bite on this on the dish, it's easy just to take out. Okay, good. No, no, make it leave that hole so I can take it out. <laughs> it's really hard at this time of the year to eat hot food like that because you get the sweats on big time. <laughs> it's like, woo! I need a towel to dry me down. All right, so you start dicing that. Okay, and how big do you want them? What, about oh, a centimetre or...? Yeah, like a nice, uh, nice sort of centimetre, centimetre and a half cubes. Okay, cool. You know, nice chunky cubes. You know, that's going to give you a little bit of relief as well. You're going to get this nice sort of caramelised edge. You're going to get a nice spicy sort of sauce around the chicken and then you'll get that pure chicken in the middle. Ooh, so it'll give yeah. you a little bit of relief. Along with the vegetables and noodles as well. Okay, so that's cool. good. Right, so I'm going to start frying these. Okay, you so start, we'll start frying. So start with the dried ones first. So nice, nice hot oil. Keep stir frying. That's why they call it stir frying. Yep. Because you're frying and stirring at the same time, keeping it going. Um, just going to get a bit of colour on there, and then I'm going to add the chicken. All right. So this is going to start flavouring the oil and getting that spice into the oil. And then we'll start adding a bit of chicken. So nice and hot. So don't add it. Don't add too much in one go. You know. So if you're doing a, a large dish, you know, all this amount um, of chicken, do it in two or three batches. Okay. You know. So you want to hear that sizzle all the way through. Keep it going. Start getting a bit of colour on there. Once you get a little bit of colour, now we can start adding the other chilli. Mm, nice. Are you, you're obviously a fan of the spice. Oh, yeah, I love spice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it, you know, slowly. Because it just it takes a while for your taste buds to adapt. But, oh, you know, there's been so much in, in my mouth over the years that the taste buds, you know, probably need a little bit of a surprise every now and again. So that's why it's good to try these things. Yeah, this is going to give your taste buds <laughs> a surprise later. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end of the show. <laughs> right, and thanks for your great fact on stir-frying. Obviously, you've been doing some research as well. <laughs> Hung Paul chicken! Uh, so where are we up to? The chicken's brewing nicely here. So we've got some nice colour on the chicken. It's still frying. We've got all that chilli in there. It smells gonna, great. We're going to pot some garlic in there now and some uh, sliced spring onions. I'm just going to cook that down. And then we can uh, start adding some flavours and creating like a little sauce around it. So the secret to this is getting all those balance of flavours right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And to get the balance of flavours, you, you're adding different ingredients and at different stages okay. and different levels, you know. Nice. 
So at the end of the day, you, you've got a recipe, so it says this amount of this, this amount of that, but, you know, at the end of it, it might not be to your preference. Right, so individual know, so, taste. Yeah. You know, feel free to go off piece, you know, add a little bit more soy or a little bit less chilli if you don't want it too spicy. OK, nice. Right, so we're going to do some little stir-fried uh, Asian vegetables here. So there's some great Asian vegetables around. There's gai chai, bok chai, pak chai, all different ones here. So basically, you can treat them in the same way. Um, you've got a nice uh, leafy green part there, which is just going to wilt, and then you've got this beautiful stalk, which is really crunchy and juicy. So you don't want to cook them for long. All right, so just, just going to break them down. Just cut them in half, and or small leaves, just leave them like that. OK. You know, have a nice selection there. And we're just going to stir fry it really quickly. So I've got a hot pan over here. I'll pop a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. Get that nice and hot. So just check if that's hot. Yeah, that's good. Oil's moving pretty freely in there. Lovely. Right, and then what you can do is just chuck it in. OK. So the heat's going to start wilting it. If you want to see that pop, you're going to yeah. get a little bit of colour on that as well. And a little bit of colour, that's flavour. OK. OK, so keep tossing it around. And then once it sort of warms up and the, uh, the leaves are sort of sort of half wilted, you can yep. just deglaze with a bit of soy sauce, turn it off the heat because you don't want to reduce the soy sauce too much. OK. It just needs a little bit and then that's ready to go. So it's really fast. I'm going to leave that there for you. Yep, cool. Right, into the chicken now. A little bit of sugar just to balance it off. So keep cooking it. Just let that sugar dissolve. Mmm, the smells in here incredible. A little the bit cafe, of vinegar. The cafe.co.nz if you want to keep up vinegar. And then a little bit of soy to finish. Mm, fantastic. OK, I'm going to put a little bit of soy in here. Cool. So you just want to put, put those ingredients in very last minute. Keep them nice and fresh. As we said, we don't want to reduce that soy too much, otherwise it will go too salty. We're just looking for a coating around the chicken. Yep. And we fried that chicken for about, you know, about five, six minutes. Nice pieces, so that chicken should be done now. OK, cool. Beautiful. It's smelling good. <laughs> Did I put too much soy in, or was that no, no, about that's enough? No, that's good. No, that's, that's brilliant. Cool. It's just not going on the other side. I know. No. <laughs> How do you flip it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, nice. Oops. So, so there you go, yeah. they're, the, they're the vegetables. You know, that's how right. easy and fast it is, you know? And, it, you know, if you're vegetarian, great. You know, have a nice selection of vegetables, some mushrooms mm. in there, and just a little bit of soy sauce. Job done. It's been kung fu <laughs> fighting this, this, this morning. Actually, you are a little bit dramatic sometimes, Mark. Uh, only on the weekends. <laughs> right, so we're going to finish the dish now. We've got the uh, sesame oil on the noodles. I'm going to put your bok choy, or your vegetables on the side, and then we're just going to finish the sauce. So lots of fresh coriander as well, and that's going to help that um, balance that heat out and give it that freshness. So I can put extra in now because Jesse's not here. Oh yeah, that's good. And Jacob makes a really good coffee too. <laughs> oh, oh, he does. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour this over the top. So get a nice uh, oh, selection of all those chilies on there as well. Yeah. Clear the sinuses. Oh, this will clear the sinuses. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> here you go, guys. Try this. Mmm, yeah. It looks really good. It's going to clear my sinuses when you're cooking it.